Welcome back to the program, everyone. It is my pleasure to have here with me Sean Dupre. Sean is not only an advocate for sports throughout our community, youth sports, high school sports, but he's also doing something really special. And when I say he, he and a group of guys, obviously, over at HL Bourgeois, are doing something really special in April. It's on April 10th. It's an autism awareness game. Light it up blue. HL Bourgeois taking on Thibodeau that day. Really a special event. Sean, thanks for joining us. Hope everybody's doing well and that things are going well over there for the uh, Braves with HL Bourgeois. Yeah, thanks for having us. I appreciate the, uh, everything going on and uh, just looking to get the word out, to get this thing to blown up as big as it can get. Talk about how this all got started, Sean. I know that, you know, you have Josh there. You coach at HL Bourgeois, Josh Smith, who's in, an integral part of this also. But what was the genesis of getting this game going? This, this is 100% his brainchild. I mean, he, he pitched it to me. He came up to me at the beginning of the season in January. He knew what South Terrebonne was doing with the cancer awareness game and uh, wanted to do something similar for the autism um, awareness. And look, I, I just bit in. You know, I started digging into it. Um, he asked for some help. I started looking into it. And man, I'll tell you, it, it, it's, it was an eye-opening experience. The, the need of a community, the community has for this autism you know, the, the school we donate to, there actually is a waiting list to get in there. They got children waiting to get in there. So we're just doing the best we can. Hopefully we can, you know, maybe get more children involved in this place and, you know, help their budget and do what we can. So let's talk about that a little bit. Proceeds from the game. And I know you got a couple of sponsors. We'll get those guys in in just a little while. But proceeds from the game uh, are going to go specifically to who? 100% of the proceeds of April 10th games going to Spectrum of Possibility School. It's a local behavior-based school here in uh, Terrebonne Parish. It's actually located right behind you guys in the hospital. Um, everything stays local, 100% going there, and uh, hopefully we can help those guys out and, like I said, help some of these children on that wait list. When Josh was talking initially, did y'all start up, sort of look around and find that entity out there maybe that y'all would want to back up? Was it autism from the get-go? And, and whose idea, I guess, it, autism, whose idea was it? It, it, was like it, it was Josh's from the get go. He actually has an autistic daughter who actually attends the school. And so he wanted to, you know, explain it and get the awareness out there, um, which I think he's doing an outstanding job. So it kind of started out with that. And we wanted to pitch the game. We knew Marucci sports was big into the autism awareness. We reached out to those guys. Actually, April is a, uh, autism awareness month, which Marucci is a big sponsor of that. You know, Marucci is a national bad brand. Um, we, reached out to those guys. They do a heavy donation to the National Autism Awareness, and I'm not certain what that, that, um, that proceed or that uh, fundraiser is, but they did that. So we was actually gonna donate 100% of our proceeds to Marucci, who in turn was gonna add into their deal. Um, we started digging into it more, and it was like, all right, let's keep this thing local if we can. You know, let's try to help somebody in the community and uh, we started looking around and finding somebody that could do, and we, we got on board with this uh, Spectrum of Possibility School. And this, uh, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm proud of it. it it's, a, it's a really big deal. Um, it's going to help these guys out. It's starting to blow up. The word's starting to spread thanks to you guys and, and everything. And it's, it's starting to build some steam heading into next weekend. Let's give everybody specifics. Again, it's April 10th. Uh, start time for the game, who they'll be playing, and is there anything specific at that game we might see that's a little different from a normal high school baseball game? Yeah, what you're going to see there, I mean, the game is April 10th. We play Thibodeau High. Um, we named the, the event Light It Up Blue, which is actually Autism's uh, slogan, Light It Up Blue, because their color is blue, and which fits right in with HL's colors. So we, we kind of went with that theme. Um, specifically at the game, you know, we uh, – we're going to get out there. The Athletic Booster Cup at HL got behind it. They're sponsoring a the jambalaya. Um, they'll have a jambalaya out there. Again, you know, proceeds going to the school. Um, we've raised – it kind of kind of almost piggybacked what, what Mike and those guys do at South Terrible and follow that, that idea, which they do a great job with the cancer game. We kind of follow the same deal. You know, uh, we got jerseys made. That will be sold. We've got light. we got uh, parent shirts that's being made which we've already pre-sold that and we've raised right around $600 so far just from shirts. That's again, going to the school. So that was all pre-done. Have the concessions, have the gate fees. We also got a uh, solid auction. 
which that's all where our sponsors come involved. Those guys donated some really, really nice products. I mean, we got, you know, Gator, Gator Coolers. We reached out to Gator Coolers, Brian McGee, actually an HL alum. Uh, we reached out to him. He got on board and he actually donated pretty, you know, one of these Gator Coolers. Uh, I think he said it retails around $365. It's custom made. It's, 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 it's gorgeous. I'm going to have to send a picture to you so you can see it. I mean, it's, it's nice. Another HL alum we reached out to, Joe Tuton, uh, reached out with him with Sticks Bats. He made a customized stick uh, wood bat for us to auction out. And then again with Marucci, Marucci donating a, a customized, it's actually a certificate that you're going to uh, bid on. Highest bid against the certificate and they can customize this wood bat, you know, however they want it. So, you know, we got some really nice, we got a couple of gift baskets that parents put together that there. So again, we're looking to do as much as we can with the silent auction, trying to trying to get this this check as, as high as we can go. So, um, you know, we want to thank all those guys with those sponsors. We want to thank you guys with TGMC. You know, you guys was, was heavy into getting this thing done. Um, HTV for promoting it. We, we can't thank all our guys enough because, I mean, this, to be honest with you, this is our first go at it. We're hoping to make this thing an annual thing. And it's 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 actually it's actually working out pretty well for our first go. We're trying to feel our way through it, you know. That's what I wanted to say. I'm sure this is something y'all would like to do on an annual basis. And this being the first year, you're going to get your feet wet a little bit. You're going to learn some things along the way. But it sounds like y'all have things going really well at this point. Thibodeau High School, obviously aware of this. Coach Trostler and those guys over at Thibodeau High. Yeah, he's 100% on board. Coach Josh and Coach Trostler talked about it. Actually, it worked out where on our schedule before the season, before we worked this out, we were supposed to host on a Thursday. And those guys actually flip games to allow us to happen on a, on a Saturday, which, of course, that's what we want to do. So Coach Trostler is 100% behind us as well. You know, so we're hoping all he brings a big crowd, big crowd from Thibodeau with him. Well, you folks have been seeing as we're doing this interview, all of the pertinent information related to this. If you enjoy high school baseball, two 5A teams, two good programs playing on Saturday, April 10th, go out and support because the money made at this game certainly goes to a very worthy cause. Again, it's lighted up blue over at HL Bourgeois, April 10th. Sean, thanks for all you do for the kids in the area. Thanks for you guys at HL for putting this on. I think it's going to be a good day that day. Uh, we just pray for good weather, Stan, and everything else is going from, going from there. The only thing I got to tell you is you have to promise that when y'all make a check presentation to Spectrum, we want to be around for that, okay? Absolutely. You will definitely get a come-on call. Thanks, Sean. Thank you.